What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Way of the Hunter video. In this one, I want to talk about the roadmap that was given to us by THQ Nordic and Nine Rocks Games. Basically what this is, is a look at what's to come for the game as far as bug fixes, DLCs, additions to the game, things that we can look forward to, things that we can expect down the road, in my opinion, over the next year or so in the game. Some really exciting stuff and uh, yeah, I just want to get right into it. What I'm going to focus on most in this video are the two new maps that are coming. I want to speculate a little bit as to what I'm hoping for, what I'm expecting, and just talk mostly about that. But let's just go over the entire thing here, the entire roadmap, starting with coming in hot. So these are the most pressing issues, right? Things that they're working on for the immediate future, things that need to be fixed or added to the game, things that people have been talking about the most since the game's released, and that is uh, save issues on PS5. PlayStation 5 has been having some issues since the release, um, a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be fixed, and uh, I know they're working on that very, very hard to get that all out. They They've already been doing some hot fixes and things like that for PlayStation 5 uh, in particular. So they're working on that. They're also going to be adding a field of view slider. So we all want that. That's something I really want, something that wasn't uh, part of the game upon its release. So we will be getting the field of view slider uh, support for ultra wide screens. Very cool. And then key bindings as well. There will be a way to change the key bindings added to the game in the very near future. And that's very exciting. So coming in slightly less hot. So pressing issues, but not quite as pressing. We've got stability and gameplay improvements in multiplayer. Excellent, that's something the game really needs. Multiplayer has some issues for sure. Disappearing and difficult to follow blood tracks. I have not experienced that, but I've heard from lots of people in the streams and in my comments section saying that they're having trouble with uh, tracking the blood or just having blood disappearing and that sort of thing. So that's good to hear as well. Persistent audio bugs and issues with the audio levels. So that's like the audio going in and out kind of oddly, like from the rivers and such, just suddenly coming in when there was no audio before, things like that. Some of the audio levels are a little bit loud. I mean, the frog sounds and things like that might be lowered. A little bit of compression happening with the sounds, a little bit of uh, mastering of uh, the different levels of the different sounds in the game as well. So that's nice. I love the audio in the game. So so it might need a little bit of fine tuning, but I do love the audio in the game. I really hope they don't make the rivers a lot quieter uh, than they are right now. I do like that they're they're kind of loud when you get down into the river. Um, just like in real life, I find that to be very realistic. So I hope it is optimized, but not changed a ton. Uh, performance optimization on all platforms. Excellent player model clipping through equipment in first person. Colorblind options. Image sharp adjustments very cool so from that we have the coming soon section so these are things that are going to be added to the game in the near future so these are things that they're thinking of adding in the near future with upcoming updates these are the things that they want to add first of all the things that they want to add basically this is what we can expect first so additional performance optimization and bug fixing support for DLSS on PC a new weapon pack that's very exciting very excited to see what's going to be in that first weapon pack and we'll talk more about that when we get to the next section section on the horizon because that talks about some new weapon types as well so new binoculars excellent hopefully a spotting scope will be added in the game as well uh, ambient birds very cool new missions so they are adding new missions to the current set of missions in the game that is really nice to see I hope that's gonna be something that they do moving forward like on a regular basis keep adding to that storyline a lot of people really enjoying the storyline really enjoying the missions in this game so that's very 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 cool to see uh, new animals brown bear comma so brown bear etc so a little bit of a cliffhanger there but brown bear is cool um, and they're also adding new maps so those are gonna have new, new animals too I'm very excited to see what kind of new animals we're gonna see added to the game and then they're also gonna be adding more unique and rare animals that's very 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 exciting so hopefully non typicals will be added hopefully rares I mean rares for sure are gonna be added what we need is something to go for above you know the five-star animals because what I can see happening like for me for instance I have two five-star whitetail already. So when I see whitetail, I'm already not getting as excited with the whitetail as I am with the other animals because I've already gotten two five-stars and there's nothing above that at the moment. There's no there's no rares. You can't, you can't look for non-typicals. So we need something as far as uh, replayability goes. We need there to be something even more rare to get. So, and they, they totally realize that, right? They're going to be adding that. Hopefully we will get non-typicals. This game is absolutely perfect for some kind of non-typical system. And then obviously rares as well, albinos and, and melanin sticks and piebalds hopefully and all sorts of stuff for the different animals in the game so that's very exciting to see and then we've got on the horizon so these are things that they're working on a little bit more long term right these are kind of bigger things things that will be coming down the line that we can expect uh, a little bit further down in, in the future than the coming soon section there so we've got new weapon types okay perfect new weapon types we need bows I think they have confirmed 100% that there will be bows added to the game and I wouldn't doubt it in the least even if they hadn't confirmed that bows will definitely be a part of this game hopefully handguns too uh, I'm hoping they're going to add a 7mm to the game. A um, whole bunch of 
bunch of stuff that, they, that can be added. The, the weapons right now, there's a good selection, but there's so much room uh, for more weapons, more weapon types and things like that. And they are coming down the line. New scopes and attachments and all that kind of stuff. New vehicle. They're adding another vehicle. Don't know what that's going to be. Hopefully, maybe a boat would be nice. But I'm thinking maybe it's something more along the lines of like a quad or a side by side. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you guys think there's another vehicle that might be added. New ammo types. Ability to change caliber. Perfect. Uh, new licensed rifles and equipment sets. Very awesome. New types of hunting gear as well. Hopefully ghillie suits and things of that nature. Very cool. And then we've got the two new maps that are coming down the line as well. So we do have two new maps coming in the next 12 months. Those are the only DLCs of anything on this list. Everything on this list is free except for the two maps. If you bought the Elite Edition, those maps will be included with the Elite Edition. Um, but I want to talk about what I think these maps will be. So I'm expecting one of them will be Africa. I'm hoping it will be Africa. It might be, it might not. I think it would be silly if they weren't going to do Africa with these two new maps because it, you know, it's the favorite amongst the community. Everybody wants an Africa map in a hunting game. So the first one I'm thinking will be Africa. I'm hoping that if they do an Africa map, they do it with like separate biomes. I'm imagining, I'm basically imagining what an Africa map in this game would be like. What I'm imagining, what I'm hoping for is two different biomes. So like maybe more of like an Eastern Africa, Kenya style biome in the top and then down below in the South, like a South Africa map. And it could be split by the Nile River, kind of running through the middle. We could have wildebeest crossing the Nile, Nile crocodiles along the Nile River. Um, in the Kenya area, there could be Cape Buffalo, wildebeest, rhinos, hyenas, impalas. Uh, they could do elephants if they want to do that. Nile crocodile, eland, greater kudu. They could do zebras if they want to do that. Gazelles, uh, lesser kudu as well. So many possibilities. Warthogs, aardwolves could be in a, in a Kenya area of an Africa map. Water buck. There could be heron flying around. They could add mongooses if they wanted to. Red-tailed monkeys, African oryx, cape hares. So many possibilities for that style of an Africa map or that biome of the Africa map. And then down in the south part of the Africa map, they could do things like lions, hippos, zebras, springbok, gemsbok, greater kudu, baboons, impalas, wildebeests, hartebeests, so many possibilities. That's what I'm hoping for with an Africa map in a hunting game. And Way of the Hunter could totally pull that off with the maps being so big, it would be, I think, the perfect way to do it. So that's what I'm, that's kind of what I'm dreaming of for an Africa map in Way of the Hunter. And then my other pick for the second map would be 100% Alaska. I'm imagining an Alaska map that could be kind of like in Call of the Wild where it can snow or it cannot snow or maybe two different biomes where there's snow and then there's no snow but to have uh, weather changes within the map kind of the way Call of the Wild did it would be amazing away the hunter um, obviously there could be Alaskan moose Alaskan brown bear uh, wolves right gray wolves reindeer polar bear grizzly bears doll sheep musk ox my gosh the list just goes on and on for Alaska mountain goats arctic foxes uh, plains bison wolverines so many so many cool possibilities for an Alaska map lynx caribou sitka blacktail so yeah that's what i'm hoping for when it comes to the two new maps that are coming alaska and africa those are my picks um not so much a prediction we'll call it a prediction we'll say that i'm predicting alaska and africa what do you guys think what are you hoping for for the next two maps what are you hoping for for as far as where they're going to be but also what species what are your ideas what are you hoping that we're going to see in way of the hunter um but that's pretty much it that's i just want to do a little uh, update on the roadmap and go over it and give my thoughts and just do a little bit of an update and talk about the two new maps that are coming to the game as well i'm enjoying the game so much i'm loving it are you guys enjoying it uh do you want to see more call of the wild content since we haven't done any in a little bit do you want to see more way of the hunter let me know down in the comments your thoughts and feelings and uh i appreciate it thank you guys so much for watching drop a like on the video if you didn't already do that subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you're new definitely subscribe lots of awesome content on the way i stream every day and put up content on my channel five to seven times a week appreciate you guys and as always i will see you guys in the next one